Hi, this is Genevieve Jungers, and I'm going to demonstrate a software program for children that is called Tux Typing. Tux Typing is made by a company called Tux for Kids, and it's free open source software that I downloaded from the web. When I downloaded this, the terminology was not in English, and it took me a while to figure out how to set it to English. So that's options, and then your language, and it is in English. Now I'd like to show you one or two of the features of this program. First is an exercise called Fish Cascade. And this is actually a game where little fish fall from the sky, and each fish has a letter on it. And if we read the instructions, the mascot and his name is Tux here. He's a hungry penguin and he wants to eat some fish, but the fish with letters on them give him a tummy ache, so he wants to make sure that we have typed the correct letters to remove them from the fish. That way he can have a good meal to eat. So let's just press spacebar here to continue. And it's asking what level do we want to use. And let's start at medium. And now it's asking what kind of word list we want to use. Animals would have lists of animal that we can type, such as horse, bear. Astronomy has lists of terminology for astronomy, such as moon, sun, stars. I can see that as I type the letters, they go off of the fish. So this is kind of a fun game for the kids to play. At the top of the window, it has our level shows the number of lives and the number of fish. To get out of this game, we press the escape key. And here's where I have removed the sound effects so that you'll be able to hear me better during this uh, recording. If we go back to the main menu and I go to options and edit word lists, I can actually change the words that appear in each of the lists or else I can even make my own new word lists. Try animals. I'm going to press escape, edit word lists, move down, animals, enter. And now the first word on my list is aardvark. I could change that to ant just by typing over the highlighted words. Oops, I better take the old one out. Ant. And press escape. Now you'll see if I go back into the animals word list, ant is at the top. Escape to get out. I'd like to show you another one of the games in this program. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'll show you the comet zap. This is very similar to the previous game, but in this one it's more of a Star Wars theme. So let's go into Ace. Let's try a different word list, maybe colors. And this time colors are falling from the sky uh, in the little balls of fire. So I'll type gray, G-R-A-Y. And it's kind of fun because you can actually see the, them being shot down. The next one is orange. Again, the same word list apply and the concepts are very similar to the previous game. Let's go to lessons. Now, I know from experience that when I press the escape key that this uh, lesson will close me out of the program, but I'd like to, to show you a brief overview of what this software can do. So I'm going to press enter to select this uh, software and then a space to start the lesson. And so we're going to start practicing. I'm going to do P for practice. And this shows the keyboard and some of the stats on the work we're doing. Notice that there's a red circle around the letter A and A down here as well. And that there's a red dot on the pinky finger of the left hand telling us that is the finger to use. So as I type, I'm going to just type the three A's at the top. And you can see the stats showing on the right. Then now notice that the space bar is red and the red dot on the right thumb is flashing. So I'm going to do space bar and now it's t prompting me here to type another A. So A, 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 space bar, A, 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 space bar. So I hope you, that you've enjoyed this brief tour of uh, text typing. 
I've had fun with it, but it is quirky and sometimes it does uh, close you out of the software. All in all, it's been a fun program to work with. Bye.